Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. I actually have not uploaded a vlog by the time this one goes up I think in about three weeks, maybe even four. Um, because there's just been nothing to share and it's just been a very mundane last few weeks. Anyway, there's a few different things happening or have happened in the house which I can update you on. And yeah, I thought I would just pick up my camera this morning and start filming. It's actually meant to be a really gorgeous sunny week, which is so exciting. I think here in London, we're gonna get a heat wave <laughs> of about 22 degrees, which will be amazing. But as I said, there's a few updates. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the changes to my wardrobe room downstairs. I finally got some doors on there, which is amazing. Looks so much better. Like I actually am annoyed at myself. I didn't do it sooner because it has just completely transformed the room. And yeah, I'm just not an open closet kind of girl. I think I had like the want for that for so many years, like a walk-in open closet, but actually the reality of it is it just never looked tidy. So I've got doors on there, which looks amazing. And also it picked up these shelves from Ikea because I have so much stuff, which I cram into this little drawer here and it just wasn't working for me. So they're not that pretty, obviously they're quite bulky, but they're gonna hold a lot of stuff in there, which is really handy for me. I need to dress the top of it. And once my desk is all clear, it will look really nice. So this morning's job is to go through um, and fill up these drawers with some bits from my desk and also like my hair stuff, which is all down here. I wanna put all of that in one of these drawers. Invisalign news, I'm now on set number five, which means I've had them for about a month and a half now. And then I have one more set to do. And then I go back into the dentist and then we're gonna do like the teeth filing, I think. Um, so I don't know if you can see much difference. To be honest, I thought I was seeing difference, but I took pictures all the way through and I compared them. I'm not seeing a huge amount of difference yet. The only thing is these uh, front two bottom teeth, I think are starting to straighten out, which is nice. And also this one here, which is my main tooth that I wanted to get fixed and why I did Invisalign. It seems to have like come, I think it used to kind of flip and go like under the main tooth, but I feel like it doesn't do that now. It just sits on its own, which is really handy. And another little update for you is um, over the last few months, if you actually will be like, yeah, it'll be live on my Instagram already. I've been using, let me show you, this serum from Codely. Actually, I've been using all Codely skincare for the last maybe month and a half, I think and I'm obsessed with it. It's really, really good stuff. Specifically, this serum, which is called the um, Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. It's basically really, really good for dark spots um, caused by acne, melasma, aging, all that kind of stuff. And I literally saw the biggest difference in my acne scarring using it. I put a picture here on screen so you can see what I mean when I'm talking about this. So not the scarring that's like dense, but the scarring that when I get a pimple, it would stay a red circle on my face for probably it could be up to like 10 days sometimes. And so often my skin would actually be clear, but it would look like I had really bad skin because I had all these kind of red scars on me. This serum removed those scars literally within like a week. And um, I started like seeing, it was like a snowball effect, you know, like within a week and then I'd get a spot and instantly almost they would just disappear, which was crazy. So yeah, I highly recommend that if you guys also suffer with um, red kind of scarring after your spots. However, it did not help at all with my melasma. However, I have quite severe melasma as you guys may have seen from my chemical peel video. I've been speaking to Dr. Selena and we decided to put me on a little at home peel. Nothing like the last one I had. Obviously, if you guys, I'll link it down below. If you saw that video, it was very intrusive. It was a whole period of maybe three weeks of intense peeling and swelling and yeah, I mean, it was amazing, but it was definitely very intrusive. So just because I have a little bit of melasma come back on top of my forehead, I have kind of like little bits on the sides of my lips now, where I used to have like my whole mustache. I have it like here and here. Um, so we're doing like a top up peel from home. So you basically just add it into your skincare. Yeah, I'm doing a little at home peel. So where my Caudalie serum really helped with all that scarring on my face, I'm now doing a peel for my melasma only which is really handy. So you just add it in in the morning and in the evening to your um, skincare routine for 16 weeks. So it's a slow and gradual process as far as I'm aware. It is meant to have peeled me a little bit, like flaky kind of skin by now, but I haven't had any flakiness. I have had a swollen face though. So if I look a bit puffy, that's why. Um, I woke up this morning and I literally looked like a balloon, but I think it has 
settled now quite a bit my face is kind of hot to touch but makeup's on fine and all that jazz so you guys will see how it goes over the next week i'm hoping i don't peel like crazily i'm hoping maybe i just get some dry patches and a little bit of flakiness because then i can still work um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch on that in case you guys thought my face looked a little bit round. Anyway, let's crack on with doing these drawers. I want to basically fill them up, style them and get my office tidy and ready for the day where I have some other bits of work to get on with filming. So let's do that. progress so my desk is now a lot more clear which is kind of how it looks anyway I feel like maybe well I feel like these won't live here and that won't live there all the time so it's going to be nice and simple so yeah I have my coffee table books I have my blue light blockers from Taylor Morris I love these here I have my little phone charger thing right here I have this little tray from H&M Home candle from H&M Home cat uh matches from nikki hill apothecary apothecary i think i'm saying that right some of my crystals here i have a little coaster which i got from etsy um this desk is needing well i probably need a new desk it's been through one move actually only one move and it's kind of ruined um and i don't know i just don't really like the style of it anymore but it does the job it's from danetti then just quickly in my drawer i have things that i need to reach for all the time so my pens makeup for if i'm filming and stuff just some like powder and stuff sanitizer face spray lots and lots of napco um hair bubbles and some stuff for my braces keypad and stuff from my computer and then my main diary and then back here it's just some random bits and then yeah my other diary for the day and also my ipad i don't think i've spoke to you guys about it but i bought an ipad the other week and it's been really handy for work so they sit there and in these drawers i just have all of my hair stuff down here this is kind of tech stuff which i probably need to sort out because that's a mess but handy to have in here is going to be work stuff it's very empty at the minute <laughs> And then in here is some desk stuff that I need but I don't reach for all the time. So like my um, head plan diary, this is for like my goals and stuff. Another little kind of travel diary. Um, and some, all my life stuff really, like my car documents. gave it a little tidy this morning let me just free up my hands so when you walk in it doesn't look like much i have my stool to get on the top shelves and then this is like all my makeup in here and some of my perfumes and then this is how it looks now i'm so obsessed write it all down below because i'm not actually sure what these doors or the knobs are called but i went for these kind of like paneled white doors and then these gold little uh, knobs. The only thing is where I have like this is a hundred, one hundred unit and this is a 75 unit. Again that one is a hundred I think. That is two fifties and then this middle section is a 75 so I had to do one of these doors and one of these. Did not think about the fact that my handles are silver and these are, sorry my handles are gold and these are silver but I mean it's fine it's whatever it doesn't really bother me. So that is how it looks. Let me show you from here. Just looks so much better. It looks so much brighter in this room. And also it means I can film in here. So if I moved my mirror to like here, this would be my background, which is quite nice for just taking pictures in or filming reels and things like that. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed. So I did have to pull my shelves up. My underwear is all in there. That's something I need to get. I had to pull my shelves up a section because you have to start from there because of the brackets. But like that's so fine. And actually it makes a lot more storage for shoes. Over in this section, I didn't switch the drawers. I just pulled them up, but I think this 
fine. Obviously here I have my handbags, so I have all my knitwear which don't come down um, super long. So this is perfect still for my handbags. I might get a flat shelf to go on here so you can't see these and I can put some bits and bobs on the shelf. So yeah, that is how that one looks. And then same with this one. This is a mess in here. I kept this one at the top for all my handbags and then again I need to put in some of my clothes. And then in here, again missing a load of clothes, I bought this little shoe rack from Wayfair which is so handy for in here now because obviously I have three different layers of how I can stack my shoes, not just one. So I have all my boots on the um, shelf and then all my kind of trainers down here and then some ones in the corner that I don't wear as often. This is the section I actually did clear out. So all of my heeled boots, all of my heels, leather trousers and black jeans, blue jeans, and then down here are some more heels and shoes, and then I still have this whole section for shoes. So yeah, that is an update in here. I will film a um, proper like walkthrough once I have finished putting everything in. Everything else is currently just shoved on this bed and on the floor in the spare room. Um, this is my jacket rack over here, but it's full and I have all of these jackets here to go somewhere. So I'm gonna have to find space for them. And then all my knitwear and stuff is just kind of lying everywhere. Yeah, that is a job for some time this week. And yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with it. Honestly, so happy. It's now the next day I'm on my phone because my camera is dead. It's a really, really gorgeous day again. Like it's super, super sunny. Blue skies, it's very, very warm as well. So Johnny and I have just ordered some sushi and we're gonna sit outside and have a gin and a nice little lunch. You excited, honey? What did we get? It's good. We have some tuna rolls, broccoli. I don't know what the skewers are. I think chicken and pork. Chicken, pork, chicken. What's that? Shrimp. It's unbelievable. It's better. This will be the first time I've ever actually used our, oops, our outside furniture since we got it. <laughs> yeah, you've been out a lot. So this is our little, we normally have cushions actually, but it's an effort to take them out until it actually is sunny because it's going to be raining like this weekend. So this is our little kitchen. I mean, outside table and seats and yeah. Liv and I did Wind Down Wednesday, which is our, um, our Instagram live series thing. Um, I had two glasses of wine and honestly, I felt like a bus had hit me this morning. Still managed to wake up before seven, which was good because I'm trying to get back into that routine, but oh my God, like having not drunk for like that much over the last maybe like two months, um, yeah, I'm just really feeling the effects of it. So I just ordered an egg slut, which is like this egg breakfast place in London. Okay, Piggy. Breakfast delivered and also a fresh orange juice, which was fantastic. And now we're feeling good. Oh, hold on. So what is the time? Okay, half nine. I'm not that far behind schedule. Today I did an order on Aurora Pets, um, which is a really lovely pet store online. Basically, I really love the brand Max Bone, but it's, I think it's based in Canada or America. I mean, I ordered something last time. I can't remember, I think it took like a month to get here. No, it didn't, that's a lie. I think just the shipping was, something, I think the shipping was expensive. So anyway, they stock Max Bone stuff. So I went on initially to have a look at the, if they had any new season stuff from Max Bone and then I ended up getting quite a few pieces for them. So I thought to show you. I actually got loads of stuff. I definitely had had a wine when I did this order. <laughs> um, okay, so. I got them matching, like, oh, did I get two or one? Oh, no. Oh, I got two. Okay. I got them these really cute little, um, like, harness jumpers from Max Bone. I hope they fit. Yeah, they will. Rather than, like, a jacket or, like, a harness, like, a full-on harness, they're just, like, kind of padded, soft little, like, jumpers, which I think are really cute. And then, obviously, this is at the top, and you need 
can go in there. This little rope chew toy, but I feel like that's way too small for them, so I might send that back because. I mean, they're gonna chew through that <laughs> in the matter of seconds. Then I also got this really like kind of hard rubber ball from Max Bone. They need hard balls because Biggie especially chews through everything. He's chewed through a sofa. He's chewed, he chews through all the toys. He just, he like tears stuff apart. Whereas like Bean was never like, Bean isn't like that with um, toys, but yeah, Biggie definitely is. So I think this is a good, rubber one and it also bounces so they can have a little excuse me no not yet this is a teddy i got because it's tartan i'm scottish and i actually have a teddy that's red and very similar to this but it's not tartan biggie definitely likes to kind of have something near him at night time like cuddling stuff so i think this will be really sweet for him this johnny was very opposed to but i just had to get it <laughs> for our stop it piggy for after their showers because we don't we don't bathe them like every single week but they do get real stinky and i just thought after a shower how cute is that going to be and it's got a little button for under their neck and then it's just like a hanging towel <laughs> god it got deal so cute so i got that um I got this little ball for when we go on walks because it's, again, I mean, Bean is so fine. Bean can go on like a 40 minute walk and he's like totally fine. But Biggie is, he's a very hot dog. So he really needs like water up all the time and he needs like shade and whatnot. So I just thought this was cute for walking. It's also from Max Bone. Um, and then when he's finished drinking, he just falls up flat, which I thought was cute. So I got that. <laughs> and then I got, a lead, for, oh this is nice. <gasps> really like this. Okay, I got them both this lead. It's also Max Bone. It's like rubber, but like durable rubber, you know? It's like a really nice kind of soft rubber material. This is like a really lovely kind of nudie pink. And then it has the, oh that's good. Oh, that's really good. Okay, it has the clipper thing there, which is silver. I just thought it was a really cute um, lead. And then also there's a tiny bit of branding here and i think i got this in the same yeah i got the same one in a different color for the two of them so this one's more like a navy kind of um charcoal blue but i thought these two colors with the two of them would be super cute and they match this little thing as well both colors these are little natural deer antlers for them to chew on but i just worry that they're very small i don't want them to choke but We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's my little order. He's literally just watched everything. He's like, mom, give me the toys. Just popped the little, I mean, ignore his little cone. It's because he will not stop licking his foot. Um, but I just popped his little harness jumper on and look how cute that is. Look up, baby. Look under there. And you, yours is gonna come. Um, look how cute that is. I feel so bad for him, his cone, but yeah, I think that's really, really sweet. You look so handsome, Beanie. <laughs> so crazy. Oh my goodness, okay, stop. The thing is, they can get really aggressive with each other when we put a new toy down, so I actually can't do a high look right now. Also, my neck tan just doesn't work, like fake tan just doesn't stick to my neck. Anyway, I have to like really sit down and be with them the first time when you toys there otherwise they just argue and argue and argue and argue so yeah they're going a bit crazy okay i look very worse for wear <laughs> i was out shooting this morning for like two hours i think and um yeah i mean i'm really really just do not look good right now and it was so cold and i just got home and ate some soup and i've been up here editing my video this video for you guys all day so that's my excuse um Anyway, I'm just popping on to end it because I didn't do that. I actually finished it last week, a whole week ago, guys. And then bank holiday hit and yeah, no work got done. Before I show you my outfit, because I know you guys are going to like this, I wanted to show you my skin. So let me put you in this light. I mean, obviously my makeup is literally off. But two things to update on. The first thing is my skin got really really dry over the last actually i think you can see in the last clip like how bad and patchy my makeup is like my neck went all really patchy well that's kind of fake tan but my face went really kind of dry it's a lot better now it's not as dry it definitely looks terrible like my makeup looks fine kind of in the morning until like midday but then when it gets to sort of like 
2 p.m 3 p.m onward my skin just looks like my makeup looks terrible like it needs to come off which is what i need to do now and then like redo it but i have been shooting so i'm still on my um peel thing obviously maybe it's like a detox from the peel it's probably because of the bad food i've been eating all the wine i've been drinking and yeah just an accumulation of everything so i'm back on my no drinking until weekends apart from tonight it's white on wednesday but i'm gonna have gin not wine anyway this is meant to be a very very quick goodbye and it's ended up quite long so i will start vlogging again in the morning and i will see you guys in the next vlog sorry that this is going up on a wednesday no fashion content because i'm just not in the mood I'm just not inspired it's too cold it's odd season like mm, not here for it so vlogging at the minute this is my outfit it's from naomi janice's in the style range i really really like it i actually got two colors I actually got three colours, but they only sent half of one colour, so I'm going to send that back and keep this colour and the other one. Um, I just thought they were really nice lounge pieces for home. They're just kind of like knitted elastic leggings. They do have a rib detail and a seam down the front, and I've been wearing these for probably three hours, and they have not gone baggy, like, at all, which is really good, because I hate when cheaper loungewear goes baggy. But no, these have stayed nice and tight. And then there's, like, a symmetrical top that kind of matches with it which I think is really cute in the exact same material. And then the sleeves have little cuts. I'll pop it down below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Excuse my appearance and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.